What's up everybody and welcome to today's edition of Tool Duel. We're going to post all the specs and the cool features of each tool, but I want to know in the comment section below, which tool do you like the best? Which one has the coolest features and what would you change? I want you all to decide the winner between the two of these tools. Now with that being said, let's take a look at the two tools that will be competing in the Tool Duel. Today we are taking a look at the newest, most baddest mofo jigsaw is out on the market today. The brand new M18 Fuel from Milwaukee and the brand new Gen 5X Octane Edition from Rigid. Now we did full reviews for each one of these jigsaws on the channel. I will link the cards up on top of this video so you can see them cut and dice and do all that fun stuff. But today we're taking a look at all the cool features. We're really going to dive into each one of these to see which one would maybe fit you a little bit better. All right, first let's take a quick glance at the new Rigid Octane Jigsaw. This is not your average jigsaw. This is the Octane version. So you have to have special Octane batteries to get the full functionality of this tool. Now, this is an 18 volt, up to 3,500 strokes per minute on this bad boy. And the stroke length is one inch. Now let's move on to the second beast, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel 18 volt. Both of these are brushless. This also produces up to 3,500 strokes per minute and has the one inch cut length. So right off the bat, you can tell that the Milwaukee is a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, almost by two pounds. If you look at them both though, they look almost exactly the same. You can tell that they both have basically the same design. They got that really nice D handle. Now I will tell you that they are both very, very comfortable, got great grips. You can't really tell the difference in the weight. Now I will say that I'm using the 5.0 battery on the Milwaukee and I'm using the 6AH on the Rigid. But that is up for you to decide whether or not the size and the weight difference makes a difference for you. All right, let's take a look at the battery placement. They both go in the same area, right in the back of the jigsaw. So it's really easy to take the batteries in and out. You also have dust collectors on both of these. They look very similar to each other, but you can hook a vacuum up. On the oscillation itself, same thing here, you got four different speeds on the Rigid and the Milwaukee. You got the lower setting on the oscillation, one, two, and three is the highest, and then zero is off for both of them. Now, both saws have a quick release system. I will tell you that the M18 is a lot smoother than the Rigid's. That being said, they both work very well, but you can see that it's a little bit rough on the Rigid side. The Milwaukee is just very smooth and the Milwaukee also kind of takes that blade and pushes it out a little bit where the Rigid does not. You'll have to put your hand in there and take it out. So it is definitely smoother when it comes to the quick release. Now even though the Milwaukee is bigger, you can see that the feet here, they're basically the exact same size. The Milwaukee has a lock button. The Rigid, not so much. There's a different feature on the Rigid, which I'll show you, but it doesn't have your conventional lock button on the top. What it has here is your knob adjustment where you can actually adjust the speed here. You got your line start. If I scroll that all the way down, you can see that it's an off button. So not necessarily a quick lock button like the Milwaukee has. And again, you can see the difference between the two in the size here. Now let's take a look at the variable speed. They differ a little bit here as well. You can see I can adjust my speed simply by squeezing that trigger a little bit more or a little bit less. Now the Rigid also has a variable speed. It's not as smooth. The trigger's a little bit smaller than the Milwaukee, but it still works pretty well. But Rigid also has another thing up its sleeve. Let me show you here. Rigid also put a speed dial up here, and this actually allows you to go hands-free. You don't have to worry about squeezing that trigger the entire time, but yes, you can actually adjust that from the knob above if you want to pull that trigger in and just hold her down. You also have that nice line start where it starts out very slow. Milwaukee does not have that. So as far as it goes with your basic variable speed trigger, the Milwaukee, the trigger's a little bit bigger and it's easier to control, but Rigid has two different types of speed controls on this and what's nice again you push that button in and you don't have to worry about holding that trigger down the entire time you're cutting. Milwaukee M18 does not have this option. Alright let's move on to cut angles. Once again you see a lot of similarity between the two. You both have a lever right here that all you gotta do is pull those out and now you can adjust a 45 degree angle either way. All you gotta do is pull back on this and now you can adjust left or right. Now once you find the cut that you want, all you got to do is push it in to lock into the detent and then close that lever up. 
Now the adjustments that you can make on the rigid are very smooth. As far as it goes with the Milwaukee, it is also very easy to make those adjustments. The only difference between the two here is the detent. So you have three on the rigid, you actually have seven on the Milwaukee. Now at the end of the day, you can still lock that into place even though you don't have that pause to stop there and lock it and it'll stay where you need it to stay. They both lock in very tight, but I want to know, does that make a difference to you? Does it make a difference that the Milwaukee has more positive stops than the Rigid does? Now these both have LED lights right at the top. The reason why the Milwaukee looks a little bit bigger here is because the Rigid actually tilts down a little bit when it's standing on end. Now the way you turn the light on for the Milwaukee is simply pull the trigger. The light is a very bright LED where the Rigid, you can pull the trigger and you can also have the independent light button right there that will turn that light on and it is a softer warmer style light. As far as it goes with the feet, if you have to change that out because of damage on the Milwaukee, all you have to do is pull that off and then simply put another one on. And you also have an Allen wrench right in the back where you can make all your adjustments underneath that jigsaw. The rigid does not come with an Allen wrench and you have to remove two Phillip head screws to get that off. I will say though, after cutting with both of these saws, you can see that the rigid held up a little bit better. The material, the hard plastic is a little bit harder than the Milwaukee is. It's a little bit softer and caused a little bit more damage after I was done cutting. Now you can also put an edge guide on each one of these. Either one of them comes with the edge guide. You'll have to buy that separately, but you can put them on. Now as far as these go with Dust Collection, you can hook a back up to either one of these. Now if you've seen the rigid video that we did on this, you can tell that the vacuum didn't work all that well. It pulls more air up through the middle than it actually does around the blade area. Now that being said, it actually did a good job pushing that sawdust away from the cutting area. Now even though the vac worked a little bit better on the Milwaukee, what I really like is this right here where you can actually close a vent on one side by simply pushing this trigger right here. Look how that opens and closes that vent. What it does is when you close that vent, it pushes more air out in the front and pushes that dust further away from the cutting area. Now at the end of the day, either one of these are excellent, excellent jigsaws. But I want to know which one had the best features on it. Which one would you choose between the two because of those features? When it comes to power, both of these saws were amazing. Probably the best two that I have tested out on the market today. Now, one of the biggest factors is price. If you were to buy the Milwaukee today, the price for just the saw, no battery, no case, you're looking at $199. The rigid is so new that there is no price today for the saw, but if I had to guess, I would say it's probably $10 to $20 cheaper than the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee you can actually buy in a case, you can buy the battery along with it, the rigid is only sold as a tool at the moment. I want to know what you think. I want you to tell me which one you would choose out of these two tools. And if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, check us out at tourreviewzone.com. We'll be back with more of these soon.